Okay. It might happen by the end of the year, but don't underestimate still the homework they need to do. They've done an impressive array of measures, liberalization measures over the last few months, but a lot more needs to be done. If you just look at the amount of capital that can flow in and out of the country unrestricted, it remains a fairly small share. Yes, they're raising the quotas for foreign investors, but it's not yet fully convertible on the capital account. It's not clear what exactly the IMF or checklist is uh, precisely. From what but I understand, that right there are direction. two criteria that they need to satisfy, and that's liquidity and convertibility. They seem to be doing all right on the liquidity score, but falling short on convertibility, as you pointed out. Yeah, but on convertibility, it's not clear exactly when is a, a, a currency fully convertible, right? There are always restrictions with major, major currencies. For example, the Japanese yen had capital account restrictions in place still uh, at the time when it was included in the SDR basket. So you don't have to have a fully, uh, freely convertible uh, capital account currency, but probably a little bit more than we have currently in China. In the here and now, do you think Beijing is under pressure to guide the currency lower, to give it a bit of an edge on the external side to help give exports a bit of a prop? To be honest, or is it going to be falling foul once again of uh, currency manipulation accusations? Well, the, the, it, it might still sort of, uh, you know, run into trouble on Capitol Hill, for example. One issue is the, all the trade agreements are being negotiated, and now there's pressure among U.S. politicians, for example, to include anti-currency manipulation measures. With regards to uh, the, the SDR, I don't think that actually guiding the currency will itself do much to sway the decision one way or the other. But the substance is that China weakening its currency a little bit, it's not going to cure China's economic problems. You need to have stronger world demand to boost exports and you need to have domestic reforms. The currency is not going to be a game changer either way.